Hi, and welcome to It's All Elementary, the show that looks into what goes on in the foundation of a child's educational experience. I'm your host, Jeremy Cobble, and on today's show, we go back into our Polk County Public Schools ITV or instructional television programs to see their slice of life through their student-produced videos. It might entertain you, it might make you think, but I can guarantee that you're gonna learn something today. Enjoy the show. Our first clip comes to us from Brigham Academy in Winter Haven with their academic promotional video, Business Partners Bring Learning to Life. Hi, I'm Maddox Evans. Brigham Academy would not be the awesome school we are today without our incredible volunteers and business partners. Let's take a look. Brigham Academy is a STEM school that offers hands-on experiences. With the help of business partners and volunteers, Brigham students are given access to a wide range of knowledge and resources. As a team, Brigham staff, combined with our community, set high learning expectations. This is why Brigham Academy continues to be a school of excellence. Now let's hear from the professionals on how a community makes a great school. Hi, I'm Jackson. I'm kindergarten. And this is what I like about the teachers. They be all nice to me. Welcome to Brigham. My name is Janae, and I like best in the science lab. Hi, everybody. My name is Bryson. What my favorite thing to do at Brigham Academy is um, go to the science lab and hold baby chicks at science. Thank you for making Brigham Academy an excellent school. Are you interested in partnering your business with a school to increase learning? Go to www.polk-fl.net and keyword search partners for more information. Next up, Crystal Lake Elementary of Lakeland is looking to get clean with their documentary, The Germ Wars. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Well, I'm going to a party. Awesome, whose party? Um, it's Stacy's. Awesome, can I come? Sure. It's you! feel too well. There goes my party. What's gonna happen? What can we do about these germs? So Miss Herbert, what is the most common way to spread germs? One of the most common ways are just through the air. People that sneeze and they cough and they don't cover their mouth. When they're doing that, they spread the germs to other children. How can I protect myself from germs? Always make sure that when you're around somebody, you cover your face and your mouth, especially when you're coughing to protect everybody else. And the number one thing is to hand wash. How should I wash my hands? You should always wash your hands with warm, soapy water. Um, and let's do a demonstration and I'll show you how to properly wash your hands. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna put some water, some soap in our hands and we're gonna rub. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scrub like this. And one of the best ways I was taught is always in your mind sing the birthday song. Okay, once you sing the birthday song and you scrub and rub your nails, you're going to rinse your hands off. Now your hands are clean, so what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your paper towel, you're going to dry your hands, and then you're going to use that paper towel to touch this because your hands are clean, and then you dispose of it. Okay. okay. 
And that means to be done frequently during the day, because any time you touch a surface, you're going to have germs on your hands. Mm -hmm. So the frequent hand washing is the best way to prevent you from getting sick and everybody else. Okay? okay? Thank All you. Right. You're welcome. Hi, Eagles. This board in the clinic shows how you should always wash your hands. It also shows how the human body gets many, many germs. This is a great way to remember that you should always wash your hands. Next time you go to the clinic, look at this board so you don't have to go back. These girls have germs. They need to wash their hands. When you wash your hands quickly with no soap, germs stay on your hands. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R, S, T, U, V, but if you sing happy birthday or ABCs, then while you wash your hands, then all the germs will fall right off. Great work, Crystal Lake. Very informative. Next up, Dundee Elementary Academy from Dundee has their technology showcase. Technology paves the way. Technology. We use iPads and iPods and 3D design. We create as we grow, Dundee Owls will shine. We can't do it alone, so we collaborate. We are lifelong learners, our potential is great. We are moving forward, technology paves the way. We are the future, we are DEA. iPad and iPod apps, such as Chatterbox, Telegami, and Google Slides, allow us to collaborate with our peers and present what we learn. Third grade students who are using the Explore Learning Gizmo app. They can change different variables to see how plants will grow. But it is important to only test one variable at a time. The Weather STEM unit provides a dynamic display of weather data in a website. Computer programming with Scratch. I'm Ian and I've been working on Scratch to make my own computer programs. Uh, this is one of my things that I've created. It's my ice cream selling robot polar bear. I am playing my classmate Ian's game on Scratch. I am playing my classmate Ian's game. It's called Make Your Own Ice Cream Sandwich. I love creating my own games and sharing them with my classmates. 3D design for 3D printing. 3D10 helps me to create 3D designs. Soon I will print on a 3D printer. I use Google Slides to create a presentation about what I learn in class. I can even share my presentation with a classmate so we can collaborate. Students love creating PowerPoints and films and they love working on the iPads. We are moving forward. Technology paves the way. We are the future. We are DEA. Great work, Dundee Elementary Academy. Now let's go to Spencer Dow Holland in Bartow to look into their drugs documentary, Just Say No. Did you know that over half a million Americans die each year from drug abuse? Well, some of the causes are overdose, illnesses, accidents, and other causes. Well, let's hear from a professional nurse in the field. My name is Elizabeth Heilman, 
and I'm the medical academy instructor at Winter Haven High School. Drugs are bad. As a teacher and a nurse, I have seen drugs that cause heart damage to patients as well as brain damage. Brain damage that occurs is irreversible. It does not improve. If you suspect that someone around you might be using illegal drugs, be sure to find an adult that you trust. Tell them what you've seen so that that person can get help. Drug abuse can hurt your health, your ability to work, and your relationships. A lot of kids sometimes try drugs thinking it'll make them look cool. In fact, most people that use drugs experience blackouts where they will not have a memory anywhere from what happened in the past hour to maybe the last day or two. Also, people who use drugs don't sleep well. They're not able to rest. Their brain isn't able to turn off. Consequently, they're very sleepy. It's difficult to focus and concentrate. So if you're interested in trying to complete your homework or if you like to play a sport, you're going to have a lot of difficulty preparing and, and being able to be successful in school or in your extracurricular activities. Our county promotes drug awareness on Red Ribbon Week each fall. Our own reporter, Ethan McCabe, is going to give us some background on Red Ribbon Week. Hey Gators, Ethan McCabe here, and I'm here with your special report on Red Ribbon Week. Did you ever wonder what it was all about? Red Ribbon Week is sponsored by the National Family Partnership. It was started in 1980 by a handful of parents determined to play a leadership role in drug prevention with students. Interestingly, Nancy Reagan was once an honorary chair of the NFP. The NFP has devoted all of its efforts to the well-being of youth and is currently the number one leader in drug prevention. Their mission is to lead and support our nation's families and communities in nurturing the full potential of healthy, drug-free youth. The Red Ribbon Campaign is the oldest and largest campaign in the nation. It reaches out to millions of young people every year. It is always on the last week of October. This year's theme was created by Alexa Daughtry, a seventh grader at the SS Steward Institute in New York. The 2014 theme is Love Yourself and Be Drug Free. Love Yourself and Be Drug Free, Gators. This is Ethan McKay for GNN News. There are many ways to help with drug awareness. One way that we get involved is with the Red Ribbon Run. Allie has more information about the run. Hey Gators, I'm Allie with some special announcements about the Red Ribbon Run. This year's run will be on Saturday, November 8th at Lake Mirror and students can register for free. We want our school to have a huge group of kids that participate in the run. To register for the run, have your parent or guardian go online to www.redribbonhalf.com by October 31st and you will get a free t-shirt. I'm here with Coach Lawson, and he's going to tell us about why you should run the race. That's a good question, Allie. We're going to run the race because it promotes good health, and uh, we want to get in shape. And But you know what else is more important than that? If you come and run the race, you get pizza. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah, so anyone who comes and runs in the race, not only do you get a free t-shirt that you talked about, but you also get to come to a pizza party with the coaches. And I don't know what else could be even better than that. This is a great way to love yourself and be drug free to support Red Ribbon Week this year. Not to mention the fun you'll have running the race. And don't forget about that pizza party. Alexis, have you signed up for the Red Ribbon Run yet? Yeah, and I got my free t-shirt. Well, I can't wait to see you there. Bye. Sign up before October 31st to get your free t-shirt. See you at Lake Mirror Gators. Drug use keeps people from having the best lives they can. When you use drugs, you harm more than just yourself. Just say no to drugs. Don't do drugs. It's not worth the risk to your health. It's not worth the risk to your education. And you're more valuable than that. Great job, Professor Holland, on such an important message to have. 
Next, let's take a short little break and look at some commercials. This is from Alta Vista Elementary in Haines City, Books Under the Sea. Find the best treasure of all at the next book fair. Your favorite titles await you in this Under the Sea adventure. Don't be crabby. Come to the last book fair of the year. With at least 54 cents, you can shop. Special Valley books are always available, not to mention some great posters. So hop in your submarine and join us Under the Sea at the book fair. What a fun and creative idea. Great work, Alta Vista. Next, let's go to Southwest Elementary in Lakeland for an interesting and creative commercial. Don't read. Don't read. Don't read. Don't read anything. Just don't read ever. I don't get it. You could just take a nap. Just tease your sister instead. Don't read. Who needs to be smart? You can just be a hot mess. You could just be playing Minecraft. Why would I say that? Read. No, that's not right. Oh, don't read? Sure about this? You want me to tell them not to read? Wait, don't read? What? What? Don't read. Unless you want to learn some really cool stuff. Unless you want to be proud of yourself. Don't bother unless you want to read something exciting. Don't read. Unless you want to go to college someday. Unless you want to be somebody. You want to be the best you can be. Read, 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 read. Read every day and show the world how great you can be. Read. 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 It's amazing the creativity that our students have. Well done, Southwest Elementary. Next, let's go to Lovman Oaks Elementary in Davenport for their video documentary, Learning Your Library. And we're here to teach you about the books in our library. There are three areas in the library. One is the picture books. Picture books are called picture books as they have lots of pictures. Some picture books have lots of words. Some don't have any. Some picture books tell the story by the pictures. The second part of the library is chapter books, also known as fiction. Fiction books are made up stories. Some fiction books don't have any pictures. Fiction has many different types of genres. Genres means different types of categories. Here are some examples. Mystery, adventure, historical fiction, horror, realistic fiction, fantasy, and science fiction. The last part of the library is nonfiction. Most nonfiction books are about real things, but, but not, not all of them. Nonfiction books are about real life. For example, sports, vehicles, space, country, dinosaurs, animal, and biographies. Some nonfiction books are about things that are not real, such as folk tales, poetry, graphic novels, and myths and legends. Another area in our library is holiday books. There are lots of holiday books, such as Christmas, Halloween, and Thanksgiving. Look for the stickers on the books. Look for the stickers. Another area in our library are books in Spanish. Some books are Spanish and English together. On this shelf, we have all our reference books. Such as encyclopedias, dictionaries, and atlases. And our Ripley's books. And this is our magazine area, where we have magazines like Boy's Life and American Girl. We even have our yearbooks. Nice socks. Thanks. The captain sets up cool book displays like this. You can look at these in the library if you want. The library is awesome! 
Stay tuned for our next video. Where we teach you how to find books in our library. Yo! I'm Tristan. And I'm Alana. And we're going to show you how picture books are organized in our library. All books in the picture book area are labeled with E. E stands for everybody. But remember, some picture books are easy to read, but others are a challenge. E is on all picture books. Picture books are organized by letters. These three letters are the same as the first three letters of the author's last name. All the books from A to Z are in ABC order. In the picture books, the A start here. And the Z's end here. Let's look at a picture book. H.A. Ray's books has a label of E, R-E-Y. E stands for everybody, and R-E-Y stands for the first three letters of the author's last name. This is a book by Mel Willems. The E stands for everybody, and the W-I-L stands for Willems, the first three letters of his last name. There are guide letters on every shelf. Guide letters show which books live on a shelf. Let's look at some guide letters. This shelf is labeled MCD slash MCK. The MCD books are on the left side and the MCK books are on the right side. The dash between the guide letters means everything in between. For example, a book by John Rocco has a sticker that says E, ROC. It's an in-between book, so you don't see ROC in the guide letters. So how do you know where it lives? This is where we use our ABC order skills. Don't worry, you get lots of practice with this. Guide letters are important. Without them, you wouldn't know where to begin looking for a book. What about these labels? These labels show popular authors or different types of books. Like here, the horses books live on this shelf. Here's a label that says cheerleading. All the cheerleading books live on this shelf. So let's review. The picture books have an E that stands for everybody. They are organized by the author's last name. They are all in ABC order. There are guide letters and labels to help you find the book that you were looking for. Stay tuned for our next episode where we teach you about fiction books in our library. Adios. Great work, Lofman Oaks. Now to finish up our show, we're going to Cumbie Elementary for their wonderful music video, Sight Words. Hey, this is MC Coachy Coach. And Cheyenne. We're going to teach you some sight words. Here we go. Oh! C-A-N spells can and Y spells my T-H-E spells the S. C-H-O-O-L Spells school C-A-N Spells can M-Y Spells my T-H-E Spells the S-C-H-O-O-L Spells school Sight words and you look so cool Learn your sight words and you look so cool Learn your sight words and you look so cool Learn your sight words and you look so cool. Capital I. I. A T. I. I T. I. A P P L E. What that spell? Apple. Capital I. I. 
A T F I T F A P P L E. What I smell? Apple. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. D O W N down. T O Y toy. A N D N A M M. D O W N down. T O Y toy. A N D and A M M. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Yeah. L I K E like B O Y. Boy, G I R L, girl, H O U S E. What a spell. House, L I K E, like B O Y. Boy, G I R L, girl, H O U S E. A. What that spell. House. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. C A T spells cat. G O spells go. W E W E C O A T coat. C A T spells cat. G O spells go. W E spells we. C O A T spells coat. Yeah. <laughs> this is M C Coachy Coach and Little C Cheyenne. Look, look, check me. Learn your side words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool, uh-huh. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. O N spells on. T O spells two. Y O U <laughs> spells you. Yeah, check me. S E E spells C. Yeah. O N spells on. T O spells two. Y O U spells you. Yeah. S E E C. Yeah. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Learn your sight words and you'll look so cool. Thanks for tuning into the show. If you're watching us from our broadcast channel, PCSB TV, stay tuned for more exciting content. If you're watching us from our YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe, like our video, and check out our channel to see what other exciting content that we have. We look forward to seeing you all again as we showcase the wonderful work of our elementary school.